Today's episode of Toy Review of Epic Proportions is brought to you by Diet Coke. Just for the taste of it. Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. Ah, oh, it's flat. Now it's true, I am not the first one to review this on YouTube. That credit goes there, is Transato10. He is a great reviewer of Batman toys. If you ain't seen his reviews, go look him up, go watch them, and tell him I sent you because they are the best. Cannot be overdone by anybody, including me. And even though... He is the first one to review the Turbojet Batwing on YouTube. I will go down in history as the second to review the Turbojet Batwing on YouTube. So, with that out of the way and taking some credit, this is it. This is the review that everybody's been waiting for ever since I announced that I have this thing. Batman, The Dark Knight Collection, produced by Kenner back in 1990, the Turbojet Batwing. Three vehicles in one. Converts to Street Racer and Turbo Glider. But just a drawing of, I'm guessing it's supposed to resemble Michael Keaton. And it looks very nice. I love it. So cool. This box art is just so amazing. Probably the reason why I haven't ripped this up and tossed it out in the trash. Two firing missiles. Michael Keaton on the cover. What more could you ask for? It's just so cool. And on the back is where they really go into detail about this thing, which I'm going to show you right here. The Turbojet Batwing, the supersonic flyer that is three vehicles in one. Detachable wings, hidden wheels snap out. Well, they kind of spring out, not snap out. Forms a turbo glider with a street racer. Super firepower with two snap-on missiles you can really launch. Thanks for pointing that out, Kenner. As if we couldn't figure that one out ourselves. Jeez. It's a museum of vehicles that were also available in this collection. Special equipment for defending Gotham and defeating dangerous criminals. Yeah. We got the Bat Copter, we got the Bat Jet, we got the Bat Cycle, we got a vehicle for Joker, a motorcycle. So yeah, the Joker Cycle, which was kind of silly, kind of. And then we've got the Batmobile, which I do have, but here's the difference in the prototype. You can see it's got molded on headlights. The actual release does not. Though the canopy is a little too big on this one. Just set that aside now. We'll just leave it like that. Why not? And bring in the main attraction to this review. Here it is. The Turbojet Batwing in all its glory. It is a flat black. Just to let you guys know. It does not gloss anywhere besides the canopy. The bottom. Very nicely detailed. Very cool. Very cool indeed. The chassis is all design. Kenner was amazing when it came to this stuff back then. Look at all this detail. It's just thrown in. It, it serves no purpose, but it does make this thing pop. It is just so breathtaking, so cool. Even this, the gold paint right here for the wheels in its uh, street racer is painted in a metallic gold. So cool. And just to throw the icing on the cake, they've got emblems, bat symbol emblems. So amazing. So fantastic. So well done. If anything, it's overdone. Not in a bad way, but in a, a great way. Are over detailed in pipe. Look at that. This was not on the actual model itself for the Tim Burton film. It was not here. And this is just... Extras just thrown in extras and 
these right here, the pretend fire laser cannons, those weren't on the model, but they're nice to look at for this thing. Projectiles, I mean, the toys gotta have something to fire. Missiles, projectiles, so cool. Even though it wasn't on the model, I think it makes this thing look so great. Even though the actual model did not have these, even though it kind of ruins the bat symbol right there, it actually makes it look like the bat suit from the uh, Tim Burton film. It's got the extra fins at the bottom of the tail, doesn't it? So yeah, I bet you never noticed that one. It is just so cool. It's even got a little bit of decals right here for the uh, bat emblem on this side and this side. And when you open up the canopy on the inside right here, it's got a little decal for the uh, control panel. So cool! Even though I have no idea what any of that resembles, it is just so cool! And the seat alone. Look how detailed this thing is. The uh, pilot seat. If I can show it off on the camera without a glare. There you go. Look at all that detail. Look at the cracks. That is just so cool. And it's uh, losing focus. Oh no! Get back in the focus. What's wrong with you? And I see what's focusing on. It's focusing on this right here. The extra piping, the wires, and the uh, vents. Just so amazing. They did not have to do this. For the price range that this thing was going for back then, they didn't have to throw any of this in. But thank God they did because this is just so, so cool. For these projectiles, they launch pretty far. And I'll go ahead and show them off how their firepower is. They're pretty powerful. Enough to shoot through, sorry to say it, somebody's pee hole indeed. So why not? I've stolen everything else, right? So these can detach if you want to. If you don't like the look up there, they can go out the bottom of the wings right here. However, they cannot pop in on the top. If you want to put them on the top, they cannot. They just don't. So we'll set those aside, and we'll go on to its other features. Why not? Because I'm killing time, ain't I? So if you got your feel of what this thing actually looks like on the front, the back, the sides, we can go ahead and move on with this review. Time for its alternate mode, starting off with the Street Racer. Now, my idea is much like Trans 8010's review, is what if this was, what if this was actually incorporated into the actual film? What if Batman just separated the wings from the Batwing, these wheels pop out right here, and then a front one comes out, and what if it just landed on the streets and ran over the Joker? That would have been so awesome. But then again, that would have ended the film a little early, wouldn't it? You can reattach these uh, missiles right here. Pop them back in. This is the only place they'll actually go. And you can also fit a Batman figure on the inside. And just like I said in the last review, we're going to use the Toy Biz one. Sure, he may be a little bigger in scale when it comes to the Dark Knight collection, but I find it that he does work perfectly. You can close the canopy, and there you go. See, he's inside. And... Unlike Trans8010 saying that you can't actually see the figures on the inside, I see a black Batman figure in there perfectly, and I'm sure all you guys do as well. Exclude the glare on the windscreen, you can't actually see Batman on the inside, see? And we'll go ahead and throw in what actually belongs with this vehicle, a Dark Knight Collection Batman figure, which is Power Wing Batman for the last time. Throw him in, and there you go. Nice. And he's actually looking forward. He's not leaning back at all like in the Batmobile. He's not contorted. He just fits in there comfortably. So yeah, it rolls and that's pretty much all it actually does in this mode. So let's go ahead and take Batman out. Close the canopy. Set this aside. Take off these projectiles. I'll explain that in a moment. And let's bring in number two of the vehicles. Take the two wings right here from the bat wing, attach them like so, it creates a clip where you can actually put Batman on it. And this is going to create the turbo glider going from the feet all the way up. And there you go, he's actually in, and this time I actually got his cape on there. Nice. 
So there he is on the turbo glider. So he can like glide around Gotham looking for the Joker or his thugs with projectiles where you can pop them in like so on the wings. So yeah, you could also put the uh, missiles back in. Why not? You can fire them off. And there you go. That's your pretend play right there. Not much on the turbo glider. Nothing really special about it except for the fact that the two wings attach from the bat wing. And Batman can glide around Gotham. That's it. So, I mean, there's nothing else to talk about for this thing. So I'll just go ahead and uh, reset everything. There's the two vehicles. There's the turbo race, or sorry, there's the street racer, and here's the turbo glider. The two vehicles that it makes. And, you know, they got their little charm to them. But really, it's all about the turbojet batwing. Now, in order to reattach this thing, you have to bring down the wheels and hold them down. Otherwise, this won't lock into place. Push them in like so. Take this wheel right here. Do the very same thing on this side over here. Pop it in like so. Now you can let them go and they'll stay in place. So there it is. Except I forgot to fold the wheel back. There it is. There's the turbojet batwing once more. Very nice. I love this thing. It is just so cool. Which is why it's my second holy grail of my whole entire toy collection. It possibly can't get any better than this. This is just overall very amazing. And here's a look at the size between it and Batman from the Dark Knight collection. And why not? Just because I said I was going to throw him into this review. Toy Biz Batman. So you can see the difference in scale between these two. This thing is huge. With the wingspan, it's massive. Look at the size of my hand compared to this thing. Massive. It's big. There's nowhere to put this thing in this room right now. I have to get another bookshelf for my figures. Put this on the top as my second Holy Grail. I love it. It is just that cool. And for a quick size comparison with another vehicle, there it is with the Batmobile, which you can't see either one completely on the screen. It's that huge. Look at this. This thing is just so big that it's got to take up all the room. Sorry, Batmobile. So, overall, I love this thing. It is just so impressive. It's got so much play value to it. The price of this thing was very reasonable, especially coming from Action Toys. Sure, it's not perfect. The box is actually a C7 quality. It's messed up. But you know what? It's not about the box. It's about the toy. I only really wanted the toy. I could care less about the box. It was in perfect condition. The stickers were only applied and then it was thrown right back in. The missiles and the projectile launchers were actually still wrapped up. What more could I ask for? I paid only $175 shipped to get this thing from Action Toys. And they still have it available at that demand. You can still get this thing. It's not sold out on ActionToys.com. The same version, C7 condition box with the stickers applied and everything 100% completed. No damage whatsoever. Never played with. You can still get it for that price. It is just... You can't turn this down. You just can't. If you are a big Batman fan like I am, you gotta have it for your collection. So hopefully some people will actually be inspired to buy this thing and review it on YouTube for their channel and for a million other viewers to check out. Just like they're going to be checking out my review and Transato 10s review where it all began. But, I mean, there it is, guys. I've got nothing else to say except for the fact that if you don't pick this up... I don't know what to say about you. I mean, obviously, you are not a big Batman fan as me and Transato 10 are. Because we, we had the guts to pick these things up and review them for you guys just because we care. We love you all. And I want to thank all 405 subscribers on my channel. Hopefully, you are checking this out. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. Hopefully, you will get inspired to review this thing yourself someday. And until then, guys, that is it. I am done. I've got nothing else to show off. I can show off the instructions that it came with, but you know what? I just went through everything, so it's just kind of pointless now. I got other reviews I got to get to. I wish I could make this longer, but I think 20 minutes is really pushing it, and I really don't want to bore anyone. So that is it. Well, okay, there is one more thing I got to say. Thank God I almost forgot about this. 
This thing was actually re-released for the Batman Returns line. It was just repackaged. It was not painted in camo like they did to the Batmobile. It was just repackaged with everything that you see here, including the instructions, except it probably said Batman Returns on it. If you can't find this release, the original, go for that one. It may be a little cheaper. Then again, it might be a little more pricier. I don't know. But really, if you want a Batwing that bad, you got to meet the demand. You just have to. If you have to pay an arm and a leg, then go ahead. But really take my advice. Get it from Action Toys. It's the cheapest they've got it so far. You will not regret your decision on this one. It is a perfect masterpiece to your whole entire Batman collection. You'll love it to death as much as I do. And that is it, guys. That is me, Red is Power, signing out. Thank you very much for watching, and I am out of here. See you guys next time.